Welcome to Lazada, the number one online shopping destination in Southeast Asia. In this video, we will discuss how to do mass upload of content in Seller Center. At the end of this video, you should be able to do the following. Download the right product creation category template or otherwise known as mass upload template for your product. Fill out all the mandatory attributes in the product creation category template. Create products with SKU attributes under specific categories. Save the product creation category template in Excel format and upload it in Seller Center. Mass Upload is a great tool to upload new storekeeping unit or SKU in batch. Click the Products tab and from there click Add Products from the drop down list. Next, Click Batch Upload, which will bring you to a page where you can download the newest category templates available in Seller Center. Scroll down and download your template from the Product Creation category. Click the right category for your products. For example, Mobiles and Tablets. The system will process the file for download and prompt you once it's ready. In opening the Mass Upload template, remember to enable editing so you can edit the file. Keep in mind that the Mass Upload template comes with five tabs, which will help you prepare your SKUs for mass uploading. The first tab is the Instructions tab. It teaches you the basics of operating your Mass Upload template. The second tab is the Data Terminology section, which defines all the terms and jargons you will be encountering when doing mass upload. The third tab is the Upload template, where you will do the work of filling out the product's data and images. Do not delete any of the columns or edit any of the headers, since this will cause errors in upload. Also, keep in mind that different categories have different mandatory attributes. Make sure that you choose the right mass upload template for your products. The fourth tab is for valid values, which you can use as a guide to input the deepest level of categories for your products. It also comes with a summary of the drop-down list values that you'll be using in the mass upload template. The fifth tab showcases an example on how to properly fill out your mass upload template. When inputting attributes in the Upload tab, notice the frames that pop up after inputting your primary category. Red frames signify important mandatory attributes. They need to be filled out to successfully create your product. So, what are mandatory attributes? Mandatory attributes are definitive product information that's inherent and unique to specific category. It's very useful in creating filters, which in turn promotes the findability of each product. For example, in mobiles and tablets, these are operating system, screen size, and warranty type, to name a few, which Lazada customers can sort in the site and help with their shopping experience. Columns with blue frames font have optional attributes. However, an insufficient product content promotes customers' uncertainty about the product and poor user experience. Keep in mind that the long product highlights must be filled out by using proper HTML coding. Check out this example in inputting product highlights. Here's how it looks like in the site. Keep in mind to provide at least three product highlights. You may choose to maximize this section by providing up to six product highlights. For long description, check out these codes for header, next line, paragraph break, and inserting image. We also strongly recommend that you use HTML coding on your product's product highlights for better showcasing of information. Here's how it looks like in the site. Some categories have SKU attributes, which could be automatically grouped after SKUs go live. If you are uploading products which have SKU attributes, you need to create the variation at the point of creation. To do this in Mass Upload Template, go to the Seller SKU and Associated SKUs columns. Then, please fill in the SKU attributes for specific products, and then go to Associated SKU columns. Next, select the specific Seller SKU of any of the products. For example, copy the smallest size and paste in the Associated SKU column field to create variations. Remember, for products with SKU attributes, all inputted fields should be the same, except for the seller SKU and, if applicable, price and stock. 
Once you have filled out everything, do one final review. Make sure all mandatory attributes, the red columns, are filled out. Verify that package dimensions and weight are accurate, since this will set shipping charge for your product. Take note that values should be in centimeters and kilograms. Check that you have a minimum of three to six bulleted product highlights and that they have correct HTML codes. Proofread your text for spellings, capitalizations, syntaxes, and grammar. Do not delete any of the tabs found in your template. You may only edit the upload template for inputting your product information. If there are no more errors, save your mass upload template in Excel format. Click the Products tab, then Add Products. From here, click Batch Upload. Select Create New Products from the drop-down list, and then click Upload File. Choose your category template, and then wait for the system to finish processing your SKUs. If you've done everything by the book, the status report should notify you of a successful upload. That's it for this video, and we hope you found this tutorial helpful in getting you ready to do your first mass upload in Seller Center. For other tutorials and resource materials on content production, please visit Lazada University List Your Products page. Thank you for watching this video and happy selling!